Hi, I'm Randy Backman. We are back. Tal and I are going to be highlighting some of our favorite guitars. This is the first really good expensive electric guitar I got, which was a 1957 Gretsch 6120 Chet Atkins. And it says Chet Atkins there. And it's on a signpost. So it's called a Chet Atkins signpost. It's also called the horseshoe. There's a horseshoe on the top there. And these are called humped blocks. You see it's a little block, but it's got a little hump on it. These are DeArmond pickups. This is the Bigsby Tremolo. Listen to this. This pickup. That pickup. Both pickups. Very amazing guitar. I first heard country music played on it. So I bought this guitar, played it on many, many BTO hits, and in 1976 it was stolen from a hotel room, Holiday Inn Hotel Room in Toronto. I searched for it for 50 years and could not find it. Consequently, I bought every Gretsch I could see. I ended up with a gigantic Gretsch collection of over 350 Gretsches, which I eventually sold to Fred Gretsch, and they are now the, the Gretsch Museum in Savannah, Georgia. During the COVID, Tal and I started to do uh, Friday Night Train Wrecks, and we, I talked about this guitar on every radio show I've done and everything. We got contacted by a guy in White Rock who said he had facially recognized my guitar, and I was playing with just like this one uh, in the BTO video, looking out for number one. So if you look up that video on YouTube, back return overdrive, looking out for number one, you'll see my original Orange Gretsch. He found a guy named Takeshi in Japan playing my Gretsch. A couple of Christmases ago, he was playing, I think, rocking around the Christmas tree in a Tokyo nightclub. Because Coco, my daughter-in-law, is Japanese and... Takeshi's Japanese and doesn't speak any English. She contacted him. We did a Zoom. He brought my guitar into the camera. I almost, I was frozen. He, it was my guitar. We agreed that he had gotten over 50 years my stolen guitar. And he's a very honorable guy. And he said he would give me back my guitar, but I had to find him. It's twin. So I called a friend of mine named Gary at uh, Gary's Vintage Guitars in Loveland, Ohio. I said, Gary, I need to get a 57 Gretsch. They only made 35 in that year with the Armand pickups like that. That's beautiful, four-inch. Just absolutely great guitar. And it's got to be mint so I can trade it and get mine back. So my, my original 57 Gretsch is in Tokyo with Takeshi. We're going to take this when we can travel, when COVID's over, and go back and trade him, go to the Gretsch factory in Nagoya. going to do a show in the nightclub, and Takeshi, who's a great rock and roll guy, is going to play this song with me which I wrote on this guitar. You see how this guitar has the sound like no other? It's taking care of business guitar. So that's the guitar I picked for this showdown. And we'll see you next time, and I'll highlight another one of my guitars. But this was my first guitar and my first love. I got it for $400. I mowed lawns. I washed cars at a car wash. I babysat kids. I picked up garbage. I delivered papers to get the money to buy this guitar. It cost me 30 times as much to buy this, <laughs> this one to replace it. But very soon we'll show you the... We're going to be doing this whole thing as a video, trading with Takeshi in Tokyo. Very soon. Bye-bye.